I grew up playing soccer all day, you know. I was playing since I was three, and I was fortunate to become a professional player in uh, in the team that my father is a fan, Estudiantes de La Plata. I'm from La Plata, so I love that team too. So I uh, I played for 11 years there as a professional. I'm the one of the assistant coaches for the Golden Boot School. I have three kids, Milena, Blas, and Jeremias. Having uh, a grandchild, I, I, I'm a grandfather, I'm, I'm really proud to say that I'm, I'm a grandfather. Having Enzo for four and a half hours, it was one of the best things in my life. The first thing you th you think about when you have a kid is if something happened to them, you know. It's, uh, you want to be there, that, that way nothing happened to them. And, uh, and in this situation was, uh, what can I do to help my daughter to have the child like I had? Because I, I was trying to do everything possible or find a way for Milena to, to have a kid, you know, to have Enzo. And uh, unfortunately, we, I couldn't do anything and it was frustrating. It was really frustrating because everything went fine, everything went fine for five and a half months and all of a sudden change, you know. And that, that, that was... I, I, I don't know how you say it, you know, frustration or uh, disappointment or really, I was so hungry, uh, angry because, uh, you know, I don't understand why a child has to die, you know, that, that's something that I, I never understood that, you know. I believe that giving the child the, the opportunity to live, but uh, I learned a lot for that kid because I thought it was brave or, uh, or a strong guy or a guy with a great personality, uh, you know, like uh, I, nothing scares me. But uh, Enzo showed me four and a half hours that I wasn't that kind of guy. Because he did in four and a half hours more than I did in 45 years. Again, I don't think I've ever seen a bravest man in my entire life like Enzo.